Good evening, humans. Tyrannosaurus Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Dino Fury Green Ranger figure from Hasbro. The line and this figure in particular have been kind of plagued by QC issues recently, so the question is, did I get off scot-free here? Well, let's talk about that. Let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, this figure looks really good, and I'm happy to say that I have seemed to avoid any of the major kind of QC nightmares that I've seen with this figure. Uh, the, the worst of which I think was the uh this there being two right arms which is just a weird thing to have happen <laughs> and uh yeah no it's totally avoided that and speaking of which i mean the silver is just as brilliant as it was on red just absolutely love that shade it actually blends really well with that kind of like swirly kind of pearlescent silver that they that hasbro tends to use for silver uh in terms of the plastic so very well done there very nice clean lines on the uh, torso and uh, especially the gold as well. Uh, just very cleanly done all around, which is very, very nice. Definitely happy with that. So, uh, no, you know, no QC nightmares there. Then we get to the helmet and not quite as crisp as the copy of red that I have. Uh, so you can kind of see like the black up here isn't quite lined up. And, uh, you know, pardon the like focus in and out here. So it's like shiny, shiny paints and plastics seem to like put my focus all out of whack <laughs> but uh you know you get, get a couple more things in the face plate that just aren't quite as crisp certainly with that black as that as, as i would hope for but uh still definitely from a distance and from like displaying on the shelf not bad at all not only that but a uh, very nice shade of green and uh at first i thought it was a little light but then i looked up pictures and uh no they pretty much got spot on not only that but uh you know no more issues with the torso not matching the limbs uh, because obviously slightly different type of plastic, like slightly harder for the torso and then light, like softer for the limbs. But uh, yeah, I think they did a great job here. So aesthetically, definitely a very good figure if you avoid any QC issues. When it comes to accessories, we get our basic Lightning Collection loadout. Absolutely never a bad thing. So uh, jumping right into it for hands, right out of the box, we get a couple of relaxed hands. Then we get a couple of kind of posed, clawing, slash gripping hands. So a lot of good stuff there, uh, stuff we've seen before. Then uh, for the civilian head, we do get a fantastic likeness of uh, actress Tessa Rao, who plays Izzy Garcia. And uh, yeah, again, they've just been doing really good with the civilian head. So good to see that continuing. Then we get our effects piece, which is just kind of a yellow lightning piece uh, that goes right over the sword. And uh, finally, we do get the sword or the saber, however you want to refer to it. And uh, yeah, done very nicely, crisp paint all around, nice metallics. Uh, only thing I will say is that the it's a lot more gummy than what we got with Dino Fury Red. So uh, be aware of that. Like I, I can see a lot of these warping. I lucked out again, um, again, all around with this one actually. But uh, yeah, definitely, definitely a cool piece, very well sculpted. So uh, yeah, that's accessories. Articulation here overall is very good. However, uh, this is where all the like major issues I have with this figure in the line in general kind of come in right now. And uh, if you've seen some of my, pre my recent reviews of Lightning Collection stuff, you'll know where this is going. Uh, so as you can see, I did get the freestanding kick. Uh, this did take some work, however, because a lot of the joints are loose. They're not floppy, but they, <clears throat> pardon me, are not dialed in as I would generally say in a review. Uh, which is kind of sad because honestly if these were kind of like more tense joints i i it would just be incredible to to pose uh but then we come to the head and uh this is probably my, my biggest issue with the line at this point in terms of the way they've done the new articulation is that the head doesn't do anything it's basically a swivel so we do have a barbell joint that comes from the neck into the head the neck is a separate piece and i think there's a little bit of a piece down here that's supposed to let the bottom of the neck move but uh that does not work in practice uh, we don't really get any tilt, uh, get like the slightest bit, you can hear that click. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, there is a fix for this. D Amazing did a video on it and uh, I will link to that in the description below. Um, so definitely check that out. I'm gonna be doing that fix with any of my lightning collection I get going forward. Uh, because honestly, that with without that issue, I think overall, I really like the new articulation. And moving down the shoulders, like get some really beautiful full range, buttery smooth, butterfly joints. We get hinge and swivel at the arms. We're getting a perfect T, bicep swivel, folding beautifully in half with those double jointed elbows. 
Then we get hinge and swivel at the wrist. Uh, horizontal on these two hands, then the grips both get uh, vertical, which I'm always happy about. Then we get diaphragm joint with a ball. So you can come all the way around here. We do get the ab crunch at the waist. Uh, so we are crunching forward. I don't want to force it too much, but uh, definitely decently. Get some really nice arch back. And of course we get some side to side with that, that uh, ball joint there as well. We do get the drop downs that we've been seeing here. So just enough to give us complete splits. Always excellent. We get pretty much a full front kick, just kind of coming to shy at 90. We get thigh swivel, double jointed knees, bring us to there. We're getting hindered a little bit by those boots. We do get boot swivel, speaking of which. Then we get very nice point, a little bit of forward, and some really generous rocker. So that's articulation. Getting a size comparisons, here she is with some other Lightning Collection. With some Hasbro and some Mattel. With some imports. With some monsters. Finally, with an articulated icons Oni and yours truly in human form as a Valve vs. Action Force figure. So my final thoughts on the Lightning Collection Dino Fury Green Ranger from Hasbro is that despite its flaws, this is actually a pretty great figure. Again, I do really like the advancements that Hasbro has been putting into this line. Uh, it's just it, the implementation that's the problem. Uh, you know, again, the loose joints, the neck joint just not doing anything despite it should be giving, the, despite the fact that it should be giving a lot more range. Uh, if they basically like tuned that whole neck head situation in the way that Star Wars Black Series has, this would probably be Hasbro's top line to me at like bar none. But uh, as it stands, definitely need some mods. Uh, and you know, for, for me with this line, I'm pretty much getting bad guys and you know for the finishing up probably this this team in particular uh and then you know kind of reassessing from there but uh for this particular figure i definitely do recommend picking it up because especially if you avoid the qc stuff which i think at this point we're in like the second or third run of this figure uh so all that should be worked out um you know it's definitely worth it and uh you know a little bit of kiki's joint fix and you know, the that neck mod that I spoke of earlier, uh, I, I think this will be a top-notch figure. So uh, in terms of how to get it, uh, it's showing up on Target shelves right now. That's how I picked mine up. Uh, it's also available at various online retailers, not limited to uh, Entertainment Earth, of whom I happen to be an affiliate. So if you use the code that shows up right down here uh, or use my link that is in the description below, and this is in stock, which it is as of me recording this video, you'll get 10% off. And then if your total order is over $59, you'll get free shipping. So good deal all around. Uh, so get down on that if you are so inclined. And I just want to thank you so much for watching. Um, you know, if you, I hope you found this informative and somewhat entertaining. If you did, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, etc. Other ways to help in the description below. And uh, beyond that, I hope to see you again because I do multiple reviews a week of action figures related to tokusatsu, dinosaurs, monsters, pro wrestling, and more. So come on back. Let's have some fun. And uh, yeah. So with that being said, I hope you are well. I hope that all your toy dreams come true. And most importantly, I hope that you and yours stay weird, Simeons.